to always get aided by this different government. Because when things hit the fan, you know, when they say shit hit the fan, when things go down, our people are going to be looking for the government or American aid to guide them. To show them what's the next step. Instead of what? Going, uh, getting the steps and guided by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, so guess what? That's going to be their sh I think it's going to say it. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Uh-huh. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Here you have it, man. Did you want to trust in this place? This place is going to be your shame. This place is going to be your confusion. You see? Yeah, and that's through the spirit, because I was going to say that. They ain't going to know what to do. They're really not going to know what to do, because the Most High put the, put the information out there, got the brothers on the highways and byways, trying to beckon y'all in so that you can get this knowledge. But, but y'all like, y'all ain't taking heed. So when it comes time, you ain't going to know what to do, man. Uh, You're going to be out there bad. Go ahead. You get group 428. You know, because, you know, the brothers came up, you know, uh, there's some, uh, you know, some men, some young men. You know, we're older men, possibly to see, you know. But, you know, brothers saying, you know, they know they Israelites, you know. And it's a beautiful thing that, you know, hey, Jake waking up, you know. But now, you know, once you know you Israel, it, it's, it's time to, you know, start start getting into this seriously, you know. So, uh, Rule 428. And if I can, I just want to go with the yeah, with the confusion, this place being your confusion, don't it tell you that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thine times and the strength of salvation? So y'all gonna be lost, man. Yeah. Right, because y'all right. put y'all wisdom, knowledge, y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding is, is, is to this place, man. Y'all, all y'all right. energy. Right, Baruch 4 and uh, 28. Uh -huh. for, as it, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, Baruch 4 and 28. Right. For as it was your mind to go astray right, from so, the Most High. So as it was our people, as our mind, because it was us as a whole, for real, you know. Uh, us as a well, we got dealt with, we got punished as a whole. There was still some men that was doing the work of the Lord, but the Lord deals with nations. So when a nation goes off, He punishes the whole nation. He doesn't just single it out. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High. Right, so our people's mind went astray from the Most High. Right? So being returned, seek him ten times more. So now you need to come back and seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Baha Shem, and the name of his only God's son, Yahweh Shai, the word in the Hebrew called Jesus Christ. So you gotta be with uh where are you at, Brother <clears throat> Baruch 4 and 28, uh -huh. for as it was your mind to go astray right. from the Most High, so being returned, make or seek him ten times more. Right, that's why I so being returned, seek him ten times more, man. And you got to start seeking out, you know, the ways of Yahweh you know, Shad. Ecclesiastes 4 and 13. How, how you can please him, you know, leave off from the wickedness and things that you were doing before. You know, being reborn, being reborn again, that's what? Starting to become a new creature, okay? And the renewing of your mind, okay? And it's gonna take time, it's gonna take time, because remember, you know, we were, you, you, you we were in the world, you know? So it's gonna be a process, it's gonna take time, but you gotta, you know, you gotta start, start slowly making steps, you know, to change your life. You know, to come in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem you know? Easy. Yes. Easy. Yes. Easy. Yes. Easy. Yes. Easy. Yes. Easy. Now, like the brother was saying in the scripture about seeking the most high ten times more, when you come back and you learn the error of your ways, it should make you want to go hard to repent for it. Romans 12 and 1. I'm going to read this first. Romans 12 and 1. But I got a. Uh, I got an article. Yes, a 13. Romans 12 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13, it says, 
Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is your duty, man. You're supposed to fear the Heavenly Father and keep His commandments. Keep, keep that religious ways that He wants you to keep. Them are the ways that how you should conduct yourself. Now we do know that we're in captivity and there's a lot of things that we can't keep. But there's a lot of things that we can keep. Like eating lawful food. Okay? You don't gotta eat pork. You don't gotta eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. Because that's unclean to you and that's unlawful to you. Unlawful to you and keeping it a commandment. You won't eat that. Okay? Sleeping with another man is normal. Celebrating pagan holidays. You can put all that off. Those are things that you can put off. So there's things that you can keep. And, and if you can, you can try to keep them to the best of your ability. That's a part of leaving off from your old ways, you know, like the brother was going into. Romans 12. Romans 12 and 1, right. Romans 12 and 1. Yeah. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, yep. by the merchants of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah, we're presenting our bodies as, as a living sacrifice, as you know, coming out here on the highways and byways doing this work. You know, putting yourself on the front line for your high body and our shaft, for the word of the Heavenly Father. That's presenting your body as a living sacrifice. You no know, part of it. Holy! Yeah, the Lord and the Lord will sacrifice all the martial law truth. How about that? <laughs> black That's what I'm saying, man. but look, when, when the economy collapsed, you black women, y'all through, man. Y'all through a lot. We, Jake, we ain't gonna be trying to pick y'all out, man. We ain't gonna watch y'all, man. There's gonna be a lack of resource. There's gonna be a lack of, not only resource, there's gonna be a lack of necessities out here. So what you think happened when you can't go get things for your, uh, let's see, your uh, body parts? You think men gonna be chasing y'all around? No, man. They're gonna be able to smell y'all from two blocks away, man. And a lot of y'all can't keep y'all uh body odor clean anyway because y'all don't take care of yourself. One of y'all don't bathe in oils, which is a part of our culture, which you should do. Two, you are what you eat, literally. The things that you eat, that's how your body will smell. The one, them the right there, more than likely, they eat biscuits and bread lobster. <laughs> And it's beautiful, y'all want to come mocking. That's why I said what I said. Commercial law, troops, UN troops is going to have fun with y'all. Right, and the biggest the biggest reason why a lot of our, our women is going to be destroyed and they're not going to get no mercy in that day is for your fucking pride, man. You know, you come down scoffing, oh, we ain't there. Shut the fuck up sometimes, man. Yeah, hey, hey, even y'all that have men, y'all need to learn to humble down, man. Humble the fuck down because Hey, if we're gonna be in a life or death situation, a lot of y'all gonna get fucking left, man. You see? Because you can't you can't humble yourself down. When we in life or death situation, what I say need to go. If you got something you see differently, humbly come to me and tell me I don't think we should do this. Right. And we, we don't fucking buck up like you somebody, man. We not even gonna go into the scriptures and go all out on it. It's cause the scripture says, tremble ye women that are at ease, man. Cause y'all at ease right now. Y'all got liberty right now. For all hell about to break loose, y'all about to lose all that, man. And like all oh, y'all like to build a common board chance up, the majority, look, a lot of the women of our nation are going to fucking die. That's just what it is, man. A lot of them. Because a lot of our nation is women. And most of them are, nine times out of ten of them, are wicked and rebellious and proudful and they're hateful of the most high. And especially you ones that say y'all know the scripture because y'all definitely ain't in the right spirit. Because yeah. what do the scriptures tell you? It said that if you're gonna if you're gonna get your husband to believe something, it needs to be through your chase conversation coupled with fear. Not fucking bucking up like you got the pants on, man. Keep thy foot in thy mouth, man. That's been a lot of y'all problem lately, man. Even to all you 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 other people trying to come up and doing all this madness. Keep thy foot in thy mouth, man. You be more ready to ready be more ready to hear than to speak, man. You see? But I you know, the Lord, see these little things that uh, these women and, and mockers do the Lord's gonna make these people remember that type of stuff them same, them same sentences when they can't eat when they can't drink when they out somewhere in the desert or it's freezing they better hope it ain't freezing we pray our flight be not in the seventh from one to two 
You know, because it's hard to survive in that boat. Go ahead, but we ain't going to. Y'all going to be destroyed, man. Good, yeah. you, uh, so this is Romans 12 and 1. Yeah, so, yeah, because we're going back to the point, man. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present yourselves a living sacrifice, yep. holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Yep. Speak on the yeah, and be not conformed to the to this world. There we go. Now that's the point. Be not conformed to this world. And a lot of people want to stay conformed to this world because why? They they feel it's breaking away from this this, this way of life and this lifestyle and the traditions is too hard for them. Or it's you know uh, because people don't like change. They're com they're too com they're comfortable and they're in their comfort zone. So it's like I'm cool. I'm gonna stay here like this. But don't know that did the change, uh, you should want this change, man. Right. That it may not be easy, but the reward for the change happening is greater than the current time that you're living in, man. In this case, the grass is actually greener, man. You know? But Jake, they comfortable in their sins, man. They're comfortable in his wickedness, man. Any description uh, that tells you around the time where it's talking about the idols being set up? They call it such great wickedness. Or you know what I'm about? Nah, I, I don't know where it's at. Uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of the Most High. Right. That's it. That's 20. Yeah, man. So be not conformed to this world, man. You got to be diligently seeking. Ways of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, you know? Because the wicked understand if not judgment, you know? The more you get into this, the more you humble yourself before Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai to get in order, keep his commandments, the more he will reveal unto you so that you may know what his good and acceptable will is. All right? And the order that he set up, that's the will. You know, we don't buck up against Yahweh Shai because he's over us. Yahweh Shai don't buck up against the Most High. And you women ain't supposed to buck up over the men because we are your heads. Not just like your children ain't supposed to buck up against you. Right. Or both of the parents. Huh. I saw I got Ephesians 4, verse 18. It says, uh, having the understanding darkened. Oh, where do I want to go? I'll start at 18. It says, having the under I'll start at 17. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the walk in the vanity of their mind showing you that there's two separate Gentiles man okay you had your Gentiles that are heathens and then you had your Gentiles and then you had your Israelites that were in a Gentile state of mind okay having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of their blindness of their mind or their heart, who being past feeling having given themselves over into lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Hamashiach. If so be yet be, ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahushai, that, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And your conversation is not just your speech. Your conversation is your conduct and your manners, how you carry yourself. That's your conversation. And that's what you have to put off when you come into this truth. You gotta put off that old oh, man. You can't uh, carry yourself in that same lifestyle. Okay, so if you was a gangbang, if you was gangbang, and once you come into the truth, you leave off from that. If you was an adulterer, adul uh, idolater, or an adulterer, you leave off from that once you come into this truth. Right? You was a drug dealer, smoking, whatever that is, you gotta leave off from that. He said that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Right, and our old man was corrupt, okay? And you, and you see it says according to the deceitful lust, okay? We wasn't going after the spirit, we was going after the flesh. And we know our flesh goes after the uh, things that's against the spirit. Says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put off that new 
and that knee slap that you put on that new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. So that's what you gotta do, man. You gotta put on that new man, but you gotta leave off on that old. You know? And like I said before, it's a process, but it's a change that you have to make. It's a change that you should be willing to make. All right? It comes with the acceptance of the fact that this, this so-called life we live in ain't life, it ain't living. It ain't living. You know? It ain't living. And like the, the brother said, I'm stuck in Esau's system. Right, I mean, this is a system that we are stuck in right now, you know? But we're about to be broke away, you know? Through your house shy, man. You know, physically, but spiritually, us brothers in the truth, we, we, we're broke away in the spirit, man. You know, we're, we're not changing the mind anymore. We're on a whole, we're on a whole nother level, a whole nother vibration that we truly want our other brothers to be joined forces with us and be on the same level. Not us saying we want to be better than, no, we want y'all to, you know, uh, uh, be with this thing, man. You know, but it's all up to the Lord. You know, this ain't no thing, you know, you know, Jake, like, to come on, you know, when Jake be drug dealing, they be kingpin, they like to be on top and shit on everybody. This ain't that type of ordeal, man. No, nothing near, not even comparable. So I don't even know why I even mentioned that, but I'm trying to give you a, a better visionary. That's the spirit that some of these dudes seem to be in, like right. Adam, Adam having it in. They clearly learned from the apostles, and now all of a sudden all the apostles are going off. Mm -hmm. You know, like they shitting on somebody. You you, you an upstart, man. But now all of a sudden, the people that's, you you done rose up to some level. You think you shitting on the apostles, doing sit downs and shit. Hey, you see that this deceiver or head, you got some Yeah, yeah, this is just uh, going back to what the brother was saying about getting out of his mindset and being comfortable in his wickedness, man. Yeah. You know? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. Because well, saying this, hey, because if, if your spirit, if, if you got a righteous spirit upon you, man, you, you going, look, just, you're not going to be okay with the stuff that's going on in society. It's going to bother you. It should bother you, because if it ain't about this thing, if these, if these different things are not vexing and bother, bothering you, then you ain't in the right spirit. You not, because the men of the Lord are truly vexing and it's bothersome. And, and guess what? When you hear, hear scriptures like "turn the other cheek," that's what we have to do. We have to turn the other cheek because you can't execute judgment upon the heathens or execute judgment like according to the law. We gotta take it for this time being. You know, that's that that's turning the other cheek. With your woman rolling over you, which you know that's that's not how the Lord set it up to be. With uh, homosexuals and transgenders running rampant, or they're teaching this madness to your children in school. You know, it's just all sorts of things. You have to turn the other cheek. Meaning you have to deal with it. Not someone punching you in the face and beating you, almost killing you to death, and you just don't defend yourself. No, and that's why not. Go ahead, bro. Oh yeah, that's, uh, this is a wisdom of Solomon, fourteen and twenty-two. Uh -huh. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High, but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. Yeah, and ignorant. When you say someone's ignorant, means to, to not know, man. How, how can people still be in so-called 2018? How can still people still be ignorant? Man? They got handheld hand computers in their hand, yet they're simple than more. They're simple more than they ever could be. These people know a lot less what having a handheld computer. Now, how does that work? How does how does that work? You would think people would be more not have more knowledge with a, a handheld device in their hand where they can look for information all day long. But yet, they don't. It, it's, 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 it's a shame, man, but, hey, that's a part of their blindness, man. That's part of their ignorance, to not know. But, was, I'll say this, you know, let me speak on it. Y'all ain't gonna be ignorant of the most high, man. Y'all might be ignorant of his ways and different things, but y'all ain't gonna be ignorant because at the time, you're not gonna be able to say you're ignorant or you didn't know or when the time comes, when the time when the Lord comes back. Because people will say, hey, I have not been on these streets. I have not been all over YouTube. I have not been on these social sites. You what, what? What's the problem with you? Why, why aren't you taking it? I 
I gotta say is my people Paris was economic. That's what you're saying. My people are destroyed. Hosea uh, of 4 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hey, man, that's, that's basically what it comes down to, you know, I know. They cannot say they do not know, man. You know, they're not going to be able to have an excuse in that day. You know? hey, millions of people have been marked man, throughout, throughout the world, man. From the, from the brothers on the highways and byways preaching this word, man. You know? And that's it, man. We're ready to close out. Well, that's not, brother. All right, so with that, we want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Howl by, by Shem, the Howl Shai by Shem or Kapadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Ray Millstone. That's right. Peace, love, and salutation to your brothers and you hope they left out there. That's right. All right? Hey, stay up. Salam up. Yeah.